today we're gonna grab some plants to add them to our apothecary. This time, sweet fern. Thanks, fern. Hey, look, scat. Scat. Yeah, poop. Poop? Yep. Okay, so if you look right here, it comes to a point. See that? That means it's from um, an animal that eats other animals. Okay, so that means it could be a fox or a coyote, something like that. Now, this is pretty big, so it's, I think it's too big for a fox. Now, let's see um, and make sure that it has hair and things like that inside of it because um, if it eats other animals, it's going to have things like that in, in its poop, hair and bones and things like that. So, let's see. Oh, I see some hair right there. You see it? Yeah, you see the hair right there? Yeah. 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 Yep. So this is, I would guess, this is coyote poop. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and it has some white hair in it and some brownish hair in it. A brownish hair? And it's moist on the inside, but it actually rained this morning, so it might just be from that. Because you can also tell how old it is by how dry it is. It's pretty dry, so I think it's pretty old. You know, it's not from today. Probably from yesterday or the day before. It's not. Yeah. Oh, wow. look it. There's lots of hair in there. It's not yeah. You have to break them? You have to break poop? Yeah, you break it open to look inside. Lots of hair. So I think this is coyote poop. Yay, yeah, coyote poop. <laughs> All right, so we have a huge patch of sweet fern right here. Oh. Mmm, smells great. Want to smell? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Think it smells good? Yeah. Me too. Me too. All right, so I'm gonna take a bunch of these leaves, throw them in my rock. Yeah. All right, we have a good amount. Just a little bit more. Alright, just throw them in this pocket of my rock. Got a good handful here. This is a rucksack that uh, my buddy Derek gave me as a gift. Good stuff. Thank you for helping. Very nice. Okay, so now we're going to bring them back home, dry them up. Absolutely loves the woods. Loves mud and water <laughs> and dirt and rocks. Ah, and I love her. <laughs> Find a puddle? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. 
That was a good one. All right, so I'm just spreading out the leaves, thinning them out as much as I can. Try to fill in the gaps. It smells absolutely amazing. Sweet fern is one of my favorite plants. Helps with poison ivy. Makes a fantastic tea, and it's incredible to smoke. So, I go through more of this plant than others, so that's why I have so much. And my plan is to harvest this much again of sweet fern. So, whatever I need more, I harvest more, as long as the plants can withstand it. And absolutely, there's a ton of sweet fern patches around here. <clears throat> and the patches are very dense. Okay, so now it's just a matter of time. They might dry in a day. They might dry in two days, three days. You never know. Uh, it depends on how well they're spaced out. It depends on their mass. <clears throat> depends on, on how much moisture they had on them when they were collected. Things like that. So tons of variables going on having to do with the size and um, how they're collected, things like that. So some of these will be done before others, they'll be drying at different stages. So you have, you have to keep testing them, keep an eye on them. And once you get to the right consistency, you know you're all set. Alright, nice and crispy. Perfect. I just keep my apothecary at the bottom of my bookshelf. All right, sweet fern. There you are. All right, sweet fern. Yeah, not a lot left there. <laughs> Almost done. One of my favorite teas, and probably my favorite thing to smoke. So, yeah, doesn't last long around here. Probably gonna be. Doing a few harvests of this stuff. But let's see where this uh, harvest gets me. I was able to hold out from last year. Because obviously my, uh, my stash in here is from last summer. So it was full. Man, this stuff smells great. Man, I love it. I like to collect it when it turns uh, purple as well. Later in the season, the leaves turn purple. Which is pretty cool. I'm not sure the differences between green and purple, but obviously there's a chemical change. So, I like to have both on hand. See that? This right here was not sweet fern. I found it right on the edge over here. So as you're, right here, so as you're filling up and you're, you're going and grabbing all the leaves and everything, make sure you look to see what you're actually grabbing. Make sure you're grabbing the right thing. Because the last thing you want is to mix herbs. See, look at that. Right in the middle of my sweet fern collection. Goldenrod flower. A single petal. Nope. Not going in. This is a fantastic herb to have on hand. Makes a good poison ivy wash. In New Hampshire, there's a little general store that I go to sometimes when I'm camping up there. On my way in and on my way out. I like to stop at it. It has some really interesting things in there. And they sell a, 
a little uh, pouch of paper, like an envelope. And um, seems to be like like a homemade thing. And uh, they sell some herbs there and stuff. And it's uh, a poison ivy wash. The only ingredient is sweet fern. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. You know, they actually sell like herbs and stuff, you know. It's not like your normal like convenience store, you know what I mean? Not at all. Not even close. It's got a big wooden porch in the front and all that, you know. All right. Look at that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I had just a tiny bit at the bottom. Jam-packed. Love it. All right. Sweet fern. Boom. Thanks for joining me today. Restocking sweet fern in the apothecary. Appreciate your views. Come see sport. See you in the next one. Take care.